Hi, I'm Michael Celestin, Senior Research Engineer for the College of Engineering. Here at the College of Engineering, we're absolutely committed to supporting our local medical community. That's why we've taken our Mini Circuits Design for X Lab and tooled it to produce these face shields for our local Tampa General Hospital. They're in absolute dire need of these to help protect frontline medical workers from this pandemic. In addition, we're using 3D printer technology to find a solution for the respirator and face mask shortage. Using 3D printing technology, we're able to produce these at very low cost and locally. Local manufacturing is something we absolutely support and our student assistants are working in this space diligently to help meet the needs of the local hospital. If you'd like to help with our mission, please see the link below or details in the description for how you can help financially contribute to the materials we are graciously providing to the local hospital free of charge. On behalf of all of us at the College of Engineering, we wish you great health and good luck during these difficult times. Thank you for your attention and support. Have a great day. The first step to manufacturing these face shields is to acquire high quality plastic film. Plastic film as thin as 5 mils or 0.005 inches is possible to use, although 7 mils or 10 mils is preferable. The films can be cut completely manually or with the assistance of a laser cutter. If you are cutting manually or pre-cutting for laser cutter operations, please be sure that proper PPE is provided for your volunteers. Cut-proof gloves are absolutely essential to avoid accidents from happening. In addition, areas should be kept cleanly and sanitized with 10% bleach solution or an appropriate cleaning agent. Laser cutter files are going to be provided free of charge. Elastic ribbon should be cut using a jig or something that pre-measures a set length of ribbon. A very large collection of ribbons can be cut in a very short order of time using this method. For foam, we found that a paper guillotine cutoff tool is the most efficient method for cutting the small blocks required. After a sufficient supply of foam has been cut, double stick tape is affixed to the foam. It is best to work in batches as this is the method that produces the fastest results. Avoid the temptation to work on individual shields at a time. After these are prepared, the foam pre-double stick taped blocks are affixed to the clear shields. The final step involves attaching, using staples, the elastic band to the plastic film with foam. After this, a quality assurance step is recommended to ensure that the staples do not pull out. 